If you are in the aquarium hobby for some time, you will probably know the feeling of being unsatisfied with your tanks. At least for me, with more research and knowledge on the matter, I always feel like I can do better with my aquariums very quickly. This aquarium here is such a case. I set it up for my girlfriend more than a year ago and although it is running very stable and all the inhabitants are doing well, it is not really the prettiest setup anymore. Looking back, I realized I would approach things very different today, so a remake just makes sense. Let's get the most out of this aquarium. For me, it's easiest to start with a blank canvas, which is why I emptied the tank first. Don't worry, I am not going to go back to day one with the biology, since I will reuse the filter and some parts of the interior. I salvaged some plants I wanted to include in a new setup first, and after removing most of the plants in hardscape, I took out the animals. I got a dedicated piece of furniture for this aquarium. It allows for a much better display of the tank in your room, and it also creates a dedicated spot for all of your aquarium stuff. In my opinion, it is really worth the investment, also for small setups. Next, I added a frosted type background to the aquarium, which is the same as in my 60p tank. Of course, the background color is a matter of taste, but bright types of backgrounds usually give you this modern aquascape vibe, so get one if that is what you want. Now the tank is finally ready for scaping. The plan is to create a sandy area at the front and a jungle of plants in the back with a line of rocks to separate the two. The main hardscape will be this beautiful piece of wood, which is almost perfect as it is. There is only one branch that looks unnatural, so I snapped it off. This will sit on top of the rocks, like an old tree. I started with the rock formation. Initially, I wanted to glue all of the rocks together for stability, using the cotton and super glue technique. But I messed up, because I grabbed gel type super glue instead of liquid one, which is necessary for the technique to work. So I just had to hope that nothing will collapse. With all this filter floss, the rock wall is leak proof. I used some of the old tank substrate as a bottom layer in the back because it contains a ton of useful biology. That's what I'm talking about. I also reused the snapped off branch because I felt that something was missing at the front. I glued it to the main piece and concealed the spot with some moss. This is probably a good point to tell you that I tied a big rock to the bottom of the main wood which will prevent it from floating up. For planting, I used a lot of easy plants because this setup will not have any CO2 fertilization and some of the plants from the previous setup. After filling it up, the cube looked like this. The water is still a little bit cloudy, but this won't be for long. While waiting for it to clear up, I acclimated the shrimps and snails. I gave the shrimps a little welcome treat, and after some time, 
nothing happened. I guess they are not in the mood for food yet. I hope that I was able to inspire some of you with this aquarium remake. And I think the transformation is extremely visible. If you already have a well-cycled stable tank, it is easy to redo the setup without going through all the cycling phases again. So if you are unhappy with your current layout, just go for it and rescale. And you will get better and more satisfied very fast. I'll see you in the next one.